You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. It damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. We should stay, Kenny. We've made an all right go of it so far. That fucking figures. It's only a matter of time till you and Lily put a white picket fence around that shithole. Lee, you know that's bullshit. Those folks in the woods keep giving us hell. It's only a matter of time. We should get in the RV and get to the ocean. I need you with me on this, pal. Maybe we split up then. So you stay with Lily then? And Carly will stick with your ass because you saved her that one time. And I get who, Ben? That gangly shit for brains? Split up. <laughs> so you stay with Lily? And Doug will stick with your ass because you saved him one time. And I get who, Ben? That gangly shit for brains? Split up. <laughs> Split up? If I thought that wasn't suicide, I'd have been gone a long time ago. Fine. I'll take that as a yes, then. I swear, Lee, I'd be on my boat this goddamn minute if I didn't think splitting up was suicide. I know it's a tough call, but come on, man. You know it's the way to go. <sighs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. You really think so? I don't know, man. I've been thinking, and... <laughs> I just don't know. It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. No, it's not. I hope she doesn't snap. I might have saved our lives in that meat locker, you know? The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Just gonna let it stew, huh? I hope not. Hoping ain't worth a damn. She'll get there. Guess so. Well, I hope not. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. He just woke up in the middle of the night, screaming his head off. He thinks he killed Herschel's son. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, we did. He'll get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. That's a fucking thing to say. Talking about my kid here. Still, what happened to water off a duck's back? We're dealing with a little more than water here. You know, don't worry about it. He's a tough kid, you know. Like I said, not much phases him, but it's starting to add up. Farm, the dairy. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <sighs> Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. No, get ah! off here. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have.
What, the winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. We're already safe. This place is fine, Kenny. That's not what you've been saying. I know we gotta go eventually. This place is fine, Kenny. That's not what you've been saying, pal. Oh, sure, it's fine right this second, but this ain't sustainable, and you know it. It's gonna be hard for me with you two. Don't boss people around. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lemmy. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. And I don't think you're capable of Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side. Kenny, this is about everyone. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily, Kenny's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two versus me. Damn it. Me. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Ken, that's not fair. Hey, man. She's not helping, is she? Uh, no, Kenny. She's been through so much. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes. I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and... You know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now. But what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Of course. Good. But you should know. If we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. I appreciate it, though. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's. Different from everything. This was before the walkers. Uh... I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and... You know, I, I was worried. I just smashed a guy's head in with a 50-pound block of salt. You saw me do that, right? Yeah, I did. And you're talking about who we were? The fuck does that matter? It's everything this mess has got us doing now, Lee. Shit. Look, is Duck safe around you? Of course. Then shut it. You don't owe anybody any kind of explanation. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? 
No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Uh, forget it, never mind. Have it your way. Uh, forget it, never mind. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not important. You're wasting my time here. Holy crap, what'd she do to you? This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend! I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who can pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. I don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. I've had your back. Don't make me fucking regret it. I know you don't give a fuck about what I have to say, but I can't let you do this to your family. I've had your back, Kitty. What you're going through now is hell on earth, and you need your friends. Let's just get to the ocean. 